Welcome to the special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. Employees at several long-term care facilities hit hard by the coronavirus in Oregon sounded the alarm before the outbreak spread. The workers complained about a lack of masks, improper training, and being forced to return to work despite having tested positive for COVID-19, according to records from the State Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA. Senior care facilities have become hotspots for coronavirus outbreaks. In Oregon, 25 long-term care facilities have three or more confirmed COVID-19 cases or one or more death. The state's largest outbreak occurred at healthcare at Foster Creek in southeast Portland with 101 confirmed coronavirus cases and 21 deaths. Oregon OSHA records show the agency was alerted by an employee at healthcare at Foster Creek on March 30th about concerning conditions. Quote, employees lack proper PPE to do their job. Nursing director suggested for employees to swap their face masks and or use another employee's face mask, the OSHA complaint alleged. The complaint also described how an employee was exposed to COVID-19 but not tested. Later that week, five residents died at healthcare at Foster Creek. It's not clear if Oregon OSHA shared the worker complaints with health officials. Spokesperson for Oregon OSHA explained the agency could not comment due to an ongoing investigation. An administrator at Healthcare at Foster Creek said she investigated the claims and found them to be false and said the facility follows CDC guidelines, including related to possible exposure to COVID-19 by staff. In April, the Oregon Health Authority and Department of Human Services visited the nursing home to evaluate its efforts to prevent the spread of coronavirus and imposed strict restrictions. Records indicate workers at other facilities also explained or complained to Oregon OSHA before a surge in coronavirus cases. Health workers at Village Healthcare in Gresham complained about safety conditions on March 30th, two days before the facility's first confirmed COVID-19 case. Village Healthcare has since reported 36 confirmed cases and two deaths. Quote, employer is exposing employees to potential COVID-19 infection by failing to provide health care workers with masks, said the March 30th complaint report. On April 6th, a worker told Oregon OSHA that nurses who tested positive for coronavirus are being told to report to work as long as they don't show any symptoms. Two other reports from April 10th suggest that there was a lack of equipment and training at Village Healthcare. Quote, employees are provided one mask to use per week, said the April 10th report filed with Oregon OSHA. Employer has not provided employees with training on how to protect themselves during the COVID-19 pandemic. Village Healthcare disputed the allegations, claiming it followed the appropriate protocols required by federal and state guidelines, including screening staff for COVID-19 symptoms, use of PPE, and staff training. Worker safety complaints were also filed against Laurelhurst Village on April 6th and Country Meadows on March 26th. Both long-term care facilities were hotspots for coronavirus outbreaks, according to state health data. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.